Hey there everyone. I wanted to show you what I was doing, uh, what I am doing. I'm working on a Triceratops. This is my building the armature from aluminum foil, aluminum wire, and little magnet wire, putting it together. I did one uh, when I first discovered Sculpia about 40 years ago when my kids were real small. And uh, I just got carried away with the amount of detail I could put into the thing. I spent uh, probably the whole day on a Saturday and maybe a little bit on a Sunday. Um, got it all finished. It looked pretty good. The only problem is my kids were small. They used it as a toy and it got destroyed. So I decided with this new technology I'll try to reproduce it. I'm going to, um, well I already did. I'm showing this to you to document what I did. Uh, I sculpted the, the, the animal. I hardened it in the oven so I can handle it so I can scan it with my scanner. I wanted to show you what it looks like. It's all rough and uh, not finished at all, of course. I left the surface with all my fingerprints and tooling marks, everything else in it, so it would scan better, which it does. It scans very well. I'll refine the legs uh, in all the trouble spots that I have there, uh, and we'll just see how much better I can do in software than I did 40 years ago with just my fingers and some popsicle sticks and a few handmade tools. I'm pretty pretty satisfied with how it's coming along so far. I'm going to refine that fringe, refine the horns, refine the face, and here's my scan. I think the POP2 does such a marvelous job. This looks really good and I had no difficulty really scanning it. Not much mistracking. I scanned it with no color of course and in POP2 detail. Uh, this is, of course, beta software and a beta POP2 unit. But I just wanted to update you on what I'm doing, and I'll keep you posted as I go here. I'm, I'm impressed with my first results. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.